Hello, everybody. So I'm back. Um, I actually filmed this video before I went on vacation for my birthday, but it wouldn't allow me to actually edit it and add the pictures like I wanted. And it ended up being too long. It was like 65 minutes. <coughs> Yeah, so we came back to filming again. I'm sorry, I'm in my work uniform. I went to work today, so I'm in scrubs. And um, let's get this party started. So I just celebrated my birthday. It was great. I had a good time. Um, I got my nails done, which I normally don't do. And if I do, they're like really, really short. But yes i went for something like different so i'm loving them so if you see me hand gesturing y'all know how it is so i celebrated my birthday came home was ready to edit the video and boom youtube was not having it they were like bro you what did you talk about this whole video and i'm like yeah let me go back and watch it and i was like okay we can cut that down so I'm here today because I'm here to talk about my weight loss journey um if you watched a few of my videos I started off at 469 pounds I'm currently down to 250 the last time I weighed um I could be probably a little bit higher because it was my birthday the girl I ate I enjoyed myself I drank so We'll get on the scale in a day or two, let my body bounce back and get back on schedule before I get upset. That's one thing that I love about the lifestyle that I live now compared to dieting that I did for years. Um, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So yes, I've currently lost about 217 pounds. I am five foot three and a half, maybe five foot four. I'm gonna stand up so you can see my body. Like I said, I don't have on a faja or nothing right now. Um, last time I weighed, I was about. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I sound kind of weird. <clears throat> I just got in for work, so I'm kind of tired. It's been a long day. Last time I weighed, I was about two fifty. So I'm gonna stand up. Move that out the way. And like I said, I'm 5'3". Look at my pants. Like when I bought these pants, I could barely, barely fit into them. Like it was hard to pull them up over my stomach. And now like the string is pulled all the way. And like it's hard to keep them up. But because I'm cheap and I don't work that much in an actual hospital setting or whatever. I don't wanna buy smaller ones. So yes, I'm about 250, maybe 253 at this point. So, I always get a lot of questions that, and not really on YouTube, because y'all don't know me yet. But with my friends and my family, they're like, Chaz, what are you doing? Like, how have you lost the weight? Like, what's your secret? Like, how are you doing it? You know, because I've done it all naturally. I didn't have bypass, the sleeve, the balloon, no pills, no nothing. I have lost my weight 100% naturally. Um, one thing that did help me lose my weight, and I will contribute had something to do with the weight loss was my thyroid. Um, I've talked about that. I'm not going to really go into that. I will say, ladies, please get your thyroid checked by a specialist. But my thyroid, um, I'm at the point that I now have Hashimoto's and it means my thyroid is like non-existent. Like it's there, but it doesn't work. It barely does anything. So I have to take medication that's like a synthetic to trick my body into thinking that I'm creating those hormones and um, 
things like that that help you with metabolism i'm sorry that help you with metabolism and other things um your thyroid actually controls a lot i used to have i know my hair is long but i used to have really thick hair like really really thick hair and from my thyroid issues i'm not by any means bald i'm not complaining i'm very grateful but my hair has thinned out a lot it's a blessing and a curse because you get used to it but it does help um so that's the only thing that has changed on this journey it's the only thing that i was not it's the only thing that wasn't self done that helped me with my weight loss i can say that was like the kickstart it was the jump off it was the help i needed i mean at one point i was all the way down to maybe 500 800 calorie if anyone knows about the hgc diet i was like living that and it was doing nothing i lost 10 pounds and then i plateaued on that diet and i continued and i continued and i went a long time actually starving my body but getting no results and i wasn't going to because i didn't have a thyroid it didn't matter how much i ate or didn't eat losing weight was not going to be easy and that's how i got up to 469 pounds um, my thyroid had just started going out um it didn't matter i was on so many diets so many fads i tried so much stuff you know and nothing worked and if you've seen some of my previous videos you will know the history of how i found out about my thyroid and it was at that moment that was life altering when they told me you know be on your medicine and you'll be good it was like a 360 because now my body was producing what i needed to be able to lose weight you know it was like that hormone or you know whatever i needed um to tell my metabolism come on let's go you know let's do what we need to do it wasn't happening and um that made it easier because of the simple fact that my body was you know actually working and functionally functioning functioning correctly like my habits that came into play afterwards like made everything just take off and like no looking back so um what i do is i intermittent fast um intermittent fasting changed my life um a lot of people don't like it some people say that they tried it and it didn't work for them and stuff like that and it was very hard i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna say that i just knew everything i just worked for me i failed a lot but then i started to learn more information and learn the key tools to actually make fasting work for you to actually make the most of the fast and where you're at at that time and no one's ever going to be perfect i'm still not perfect to this day i still have my days that i want what i want and i still eat it you know what i mean but i eat it differently and um i don't self-indulge like i used to because you can never say you're never gonna have something again it just doesn't work for most people i'm not gonna say there's nobody out there like that but most people don't sit in that category um when i first started i looked up intermittent fasting for beginners one in the million i want to say that that's her name she's one of the first videos i seen about it and i saw how she lost 100 pounds doing it and i watched her for a while i still occasionally watch her videos um i've seen where you know a lot of people that have done intermittent fasting for a long time like they're getting back to where their body needs to be you do have to understand that it is a tool and it will be a lifestyle and it can be something you can use forever 
but you have to do it the correct way. There's a right and way, right and wrong way to me to actually intermittent fast, but we won't go all into that because some of y'all are either just starting or you tried and you fell and that's a little bit, you know what I'm saying, more advanced time. I don't even want to bring it up or really get into it at this point because I want to start off kind of with the basics. Um, a lot of people try to jump into fasting and they try to, you know, jump into doing really low number hours of eating and high fasting and you can't do that. You really need to start off with the 8 and 16 and get used to that and then slowly progress to the 8, you know, and 16. Sorry, that's the same one. And then you go to what's next? The 12, no, see, like 12, like how am I going to edit that out? Like my mind just went completely My train of thought at that, that moment, I was like, what am I talking about? I definitely do apologize. Next comes the six. I've been doing this for like in 18 and then it's like 6 and 18 there we go 6 and 18 and then you continue and you continue and you continue like right now um i eat five hours a day and i fast 19 i don't know if i'm gonna really edit that out like i was really lost there for a second i just have so much i want to say but i keep looking at the clock and i'm like i only want to make it so long so forgive me if i spaced out i had a long day i had clients i had all kinds of stuff but i'm here we're here okay let's focus so now I'm at 5 and 19. So I eat for 5 and I fast for 19. But I slowly built up to that level. Now I can do days where I OMAD and I only eat 2 hours a day and I actually fast for 22 uh, hours. And then sometimes I fast 24 to 48, either juice, you know, um, or water fasting, just depending. I constantly want to shock my body, not aggressively. You don't want to shock your body aggressively. You want to slowly build up to these things. You know what I mean? You want to slowly kind of, it's like leveling up. You know what I mean? And there's nothing wrong to me with doing it. If we lived in the olden days, you didn't eat as much as we eat now and we eat so much processed stuff that sometimes it's nice to just clean your body to just kind of pull everything and you know detoxify it so that is basically how i lost my weight i'm gonna insert some pictures um of my heaviest somewhere up in here and then it'll be a split screen whatever i need to do so I'm just going to continue talking so you'll either see a split screen or you'll just see pictures right here. Some of these pictures, um, I'm not at my heaviest. I think the last picture I took, which will be in the beginning of the video, I'm going to put, I have on a black shirt and um, green pants. Um, that is the actual last picture I allowed to be taken of my body. It's not me at my heaviest weight because there was no evidence of me at my heaviest weight but in that picture i was probably about 410 pounds so i gained 50 pounds after that so i definitely do apologize i might have some face pictures but there is no body pictures of me after that size and it's because embarrassment not wanting to actually own up to the fact that i had gotten that big um not actually wanted to realize where i was at because as long as my face was cute as long as my hair was cute as long as i was slayed i really didn't allow myself to see well probably past my chest <laughs> let's be real but, you know, I didn't allow myself to really see me after a certain point. I had just kind of put blinders. And if I looked at myself, when I focused on myself, I focused basically from here up. And that was it. And um, what else? 
So I'm going to put up a few of my pictures um, just so you can see. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into my journey like I did last time. I really want to do a video about intermittent fasting um, in detail. I just am mentioning, mentioning it and just talking about it. But I'm going to actually, if y'all want me to, I can do a detailed video of the steps and different things and what to look up and kind of how to start that journey more information you can leave your comments down below if you would like to see that or and you know any questions you have about intermittent fasting maybe or that part of my journey maybe y'all can just leave it down below and i'll do a q a about it um as you know I'm preparing to actually have surgery in February to take care of my stomach. Um, I am going to show because I've been so scared, but this is, I know you can't see it well, but I'm hoping to lose another 30 pounds. I'm trying to keep my pants up. I'm hoping to lose another 30 pounds before February. And then I am going to get my stomach and everything done. And I'm going to take y'all along that journey, you know. And so, like I said, intermittent fasting was never a diet for me. It never felt that way. It was basically a lifestyle change. It has helped me so much. Um... I got to experience things that I never thought I would get the chance to. Like, that's the biggest thing about this journey that has been so crazy. And sometimes I get stuck and sometimes I don't progress like I want to because I'm slowly learning life again and slowly dealing with my inner battles of what got me to that size. You know what I'm saying? But... I got to do some of the smallest things and being able to do some of the smallest things that I haven't been able to do in years has really made this journey like really worth it. Like from the smallest things like going to a restaurant, being able to fit in a booth, not having to get a table, not going to someone's birthday party and people are already at a freaking table and either they want you to scoot in or it's like this much room at the end or you have to get a chair to sit at the end. You know, things like that. Like being able just to go to a booth, to go to a restaurant, to sit down and never have to think, can I fit? What am I going to do? You know? Also, I got to zip line in Vegas last September and that was the most amazing feeling in the world was to be able to zip line comfortably <laughs> I'm sorry and go down Fremont Street and say I've done something huge on my bucket list not something small but something huge on my bucket list I got to do because I achieved my weight loss I'm achieving my goals I can continue to you know do the things that i want to do the things that i could never think or feel like it would be possible you know what i mean if i did it or not really did it but if if i was still that same size so you guys thank you so much for tuning in i know i've been kind of all over the place and i got stuck a few times but I'm just tired. I've been up since like freaking 6 o'clock this morning. And um, my dog was sick with diarrhea last night. And I'm just kind of watching her to make sure she's good. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm tuning out. But I'm really here. If you want to hear more about my weight loss. If you want me to kind of break down and explain intermittent fasting a little bit better. Complete. Like information leave a comment down below if you have any questions leave your comment down below i might do a q a um just depending so i hope everyone has a wonderful day you know evening and i'm going to go take care of my baby love and make sure 
she's still okay. Have a good 